John, I know you have a, um, a lot of love and respect for Sh uh, Sri Ramana. And um, I know there's a lot of lovers of Ramana in the room. So I wanted to ask you a question that relates to his, his method. Uh, in particular, and in, in to meditation in general, uh, Sri Ramana, his whole system was based on one question, and that was, "Who am I?" And he said it was, he said it was like a thorn that was used to remove a thorn. Once the thorn was removed, the other thorn could be thrown away, and there was no more need for a system. I just wonder if how how his system would relate to yours if there was any connection between the two um, if his system could be used without deep honesty um, I just wonder if you could address his system and maybe meditation in general maybe that's too big a question if you have an unawakened western mind then the question <clears throat> to deeply ask, who am I? Begs something to be realized that's much deeper than what we're accustomed to. It a little bit stops the regular kind of thinking. Once, once it's realized that the who you are isn't anything that you're accustomed to. That the who has nothing to do with the personality, the self, or the identity. So it's a completely different way of relating to you. Then what begs the question is no longer who you are, but what you are. The who takes you to the deeper I, the I that is aware. The what you are. Takes you into the quiet nature of the eye of awareness. quality that can't be realized by thought. It needs to be directly known. Sorry, what, what can't be realized by thought? What you are. You can think about what you are, but it can't be realized can't be directly realized by thought. Thought can point you into the direction. Once you're facing the direction of the deep within, awareness enters without a thought. And as it enters directly, it realizes. Awareness enters what it really is. Not with thought, feeling, and consideration. But the direct realization of what it is. You can't really enter what you really are without being what you really are. It is deeply, quietly realized. You can't come into such a profound realization by using anything that you're already familiar with. The question, who are you? As soon as the question is asked, the question presumes that the who isn't what you're used to. And then to know what you are. 
in all that we're used to, we don't relate to a what. We relate to who we are. 